hello friends in this video session we will discuss how to implement two factor authentication in sp.net mbc with google authenticator so let's start we open a visual studio and create a new mbc web project we select sp.net mbc web application and rename this application and click to ok this is all ready so we choose here a empty template now project is creating now we will go to solution explorer and uh, add a new add a new new get package google authenticator for access the functionality of google authenticator It's not found. So it's find the Google Authenticator two factor authentication library. So click to here and uh, click on the install button. Now the package is installing. Now oh, it's successfully installed in my web applications. Click to close. Now we add a new home controller. Rename it. Now we create a new action method for login public action result login and it's a return view and we also create a post method for this now add a view for this section now we will design a text box a text box for password and a button i already designed html for this so simply copy it and we need to add a bootstrap files so we go to bootstrap file and uh, create a folder name css and paste that file into this folder so now this form is completed Now we create a form collection for this for accessing a value from this controls username and password. So for testing, I check with simple static statics value. So FC is the username, name is the username equal to 
is equal to is the admin and uh, let's see is the password admin one two three else else is return on the same action method and we pass a message for this it mean id or password is wrong username and password is correct then I create a temporary session so I think I name it temp id is equal to let's see I store that username values and transfer to a new method for verifying two factor authentication return redirect to action we write here action name verify auth Now it's create a session and uh, it's store that username and it will transfer to new action method for verifying two factor authentication. So now we create uh, this section. Public action result. return view and if now we validate this action method if if not null then it's return that view otherwise it's return to login action So we write here a login that return on login action now we create a post methods for this action form collection fc and uh, if uh, I already authenticate for this so I create a where token is equal to fc and uh, we take a, a token from this view 
that user will enter in a text box so firstly we create a view for this section you firstly create an input text box input and which type is equal to text and name is equal to the passport like this and this a placeholder enter and six digit code here we enter here, here a six digit code and uh, that we that we will get from uh, uh, google authenticator authenticator application and uh, we create a here a button button for this type is equal to submit and the value is equal to verify and this we all set in a form now we access this passcode value this six digit value into this token and we then we access a two factor two factor indicator it's not accessing now we add a name space google dot authenticator by which you will able to access a two factor authenticator class and it's say two factor authentication tfa is equal to new no two factor authentication you take a string a string user a unique key user unique key is equal to convert to, to string session we also generate a key for this so i take a global string key is equal to any create any test test 587 and it's even at the rate we take a any unique key and plus equal to key now we take a bool variable which valid which valid which equal to tfa dot validate to factor pin this is user unique key and uh, it's a two factor code from client so it's a token we take here a token this value if in this this pool is true is valid then then we store this in a final session 
dot is a convert dot push string is to this session value and it's a return redirect direct to action is in my profile then user transfer to their dashboard otherwise if this is not valid then it's transfer to login action method so now this to fact uh, this validation of the user's token is complete now we will create a method for generating a barcode for uh, registering the user and uh, generate a six digit code on the behalf of this application so we create a new new action method for this public action result admin your it's a return view we also authenticate this action method session temp id it's not equal to null otherwise it transfer to login view now here we write a code for generating barcode uh, qr code so the two factor authentication tfa is equal to new two factor authenticator string user unique key is equal to we all same same keys use here in the session user unique key we store in a session user key is where set up info is equal to set up info dot generate is equal to two factor authentication dot to generate code generate setup code we write here uh, any title for this account so write here uh, google authentication authentication test and it's a secret key convert 
dot to string we use a username of this admin as a secret key you can use a different different secret key for each user and it's a qr code width user unique and it's here we use a qr code width and it's a height we use here i think user unique key for this because it's a combination of this session and the key so it's like it uh, store this in a view bag view bag dot qr code which equal to setup info dot qr code setup qr code setup url and uh, view back dot setup code is equal to setup info dot manual entries if you use a manual entries keys then you will use this manual entry keys in this example we will not use a manual entry so there is no need to write this so all it's done now we run and this login now it's running you will enter this admin id and password admin and admin 123 we also add a view for this section admin qr so right click and add view and here we take a image control and this src is equal to view back qr code because this is the qr code url so so now it's creating a qr code for this so now again run this enter here admin and it's a admin 123 and click to verify auth so firstly we need to register our mobile application with this qr code so we run this page and read this qr code with our Uh, google authenticator mobile application so scan a barcode with your phone now it's generating a qr code six digit code and we will enter 
this six digit code into this text box six four three and it's a four six five and click to verify now it's going to my profile so we will create a view for this public action result my profile return view and we also authenticate this action with this final session if session id is equal not is equal to null then let's return this view otherwise it's returned to login page and add a view for this here we add a h1 welcome welcome session is a admin id username it's the id so now again run this so first we build it now again run this login action method admin and admin 1 to 3 now we will enter a 6 digit code currently it's a 6 digit code is 899969 click to verify now it's transfer to welcome admin so all it's done so if you have any question related to this topic please write in a comment box i will reply you soon if you like my videos click click on this circle and uh, don't forget to watch these two videos i will provide a mobile application link in a description section of this video so thanks for watching bye bye